River of Grass is an immersive, interactive environment for kids. From a Formula D perspective, we have developed a lot of technology specifically for these exhibits, which has never been done before. Obviously, we had to get over quite a number of these design challenges. We had very predetermined messages that we want to get across. So we had to find a nice balance between creating a, a scripted storyline and an open play and learning environment. And I think we hit that balance quite nicely. The Everglades is a really unique environment and it's largely inaccessible. And so we really wanted to bring the Everglades into this experience. And another aspect that we felt was really important was the time of day. The Everglades is an environment that changes so much between day and night. And so early on, the kind of idea of the spotlight or the torch was one that we knew we wanted to have. And uh, it was really nice to see that it ended up making it into the final experience. With River of Cross, we got these amazing illustrations that we need to bring to life. And because it was an educational project, we needed to stay true to nature. And to tell you the truth, I thought that putting a realistic performance on such stylized characters might not read, but it ended up being so great because you have the appeal of the illustration style and then the appeal of feeling some realism in their performance and it surprisingly gelled really well. With the River of Grass we had the possibility of human interaction and sitting with the Formula D team coming up with what is needed to have all the permutations that could possibly arise with a viewer. So creatively working on the story ideas, what each animal has to do, and what was doable from our side. Some of the highlights would have to be catching a glimpse of what this installation looked like, and seeing people interact with our creations was like, it's so rewarding, you know? And that's not something that I've experienced before. Some of the highlights working on this project would be, first of all, when we got briefed on the project, because of the, the vision and the idea of how this would all work. And then as we progressed and we started to see all these performances and we started to see the animation come out, those are always the highlights because from the initial ideas turning into actual movement and something you can see and assess their character and how they behave. Some of the interesting challenges that we experienced were trying to make things realistic but characterful. So one of the highlights for me was the way the the soundscapes and the music came together. You know, one doesn't necessarily set out to make music that you can fall asleep to, but <laughs> I found sitting and listening to the ambience and the music was really sort of peaceful and calming. And uh, on that note, something that I really enjoyed in the creative process was the music for the evening time cycle. We got behind a microphone with a number of different instruments. We sort of just bounce ideas off one another in a improvised jam session sort of way and then picking the best bits and then putting them in key moments in that evening track. That was a, that was a lot of fun. The challenge of a project of nature which runs over so many years is that you've got the initiation phase where it starts off and the whole conceptual design happens and obviously we come in right at the end just having to implement and make sure this gets deployed successfully and I think we did it quite well and uh, had lots of sleepless nights but it was all worth it and um, we think it was very successful. One of the things that you learn through experience is the uh, incredible significance of uh, coordination. We've learned that early on uh, one has to take a completely proactive approach to avoid being in the position where you have to make those decisions at the 11th hour. So one of our big challenges was getting the torch tracking working. Not only did we need to track the position of the torch in 3D space, but we also needed to track its orientation, in other words its vertical and horizontal rotation in space. One of the biggest highlights for me working on this project was the fact that I really got to jump in on something so massive and see it from start to finish and the finish being actually in Miami working on a construction site seeing a building moving from halfway finished to fully finished and having a fully functioning interactive installation that kids were just queuing up to come play with. 
one of the more challenging things on the project was to create the water simulation that was projected onto the floor. We wanted the water to be both realistic in movement and reactive to users. The challenge here was not only to do it in real time, but also to render the final image over a very large surface, which had to be displayed across nine HD projectors. It's not every day that one gets to work on a project of this scale. Um, it's certainly had its challenges along the way, but it was great to see the end result. And uh, one of the highlights was hanging out a few days after the opening and uh, seeing children enjoying the, the experience. <laughs>